Good afternoon, everybody, or morning, evening, whenever you're watching this. So in this video today, I'm going to explain to you a few things. If you're going to build a water wheel, things that I've learned that you're going to want to know how to do. Number one, we have tried four different motors on this thing. One from Missouri Wind and Solar. Um, one from Amazon that actually worked pretty good. It was a 12,000 or 1,200, 12,000 white, 12,000 something or other. It was actually worked pretty good. We built a wash machine motor without the housing off the wash machine. That did not work out at all because the drum I bought on Amazon was dented. So then I found a wash machine, took it all apart, got this. Um, this actually works good if I could just get this wheel to spin fast enough. No matter what gear ratio I put into this, with that spinning easy and this, all I can get is about 300, 280 to 320 RPMs out of this motor. Um, I'm going to need 500 to you know 800 to, to get any power out of it. Um, so the one thing I have learned is on the water wheel, you need as many buckets as you can get. And our initial build with the 8, with the 2x12 built here. So this 2x12 goes here and goes all the way back up into there. And that was the one. And then we added these. Um, and that seems to be okay. But this back one should be a little bit bigger and a different angle. And then this one's this angle. So that one should maybe be here in a, maybe a two by, another 2x12 two there or a 2x10 for that one. Just cut them lengthwise and put them in here and then screw them in from the side. And there's a video on our channel on how we actually built this water wheel. These are two seven foot um, cable reels from the phone company. And uh, yeah, we've got videos on that. But anyway, you want as many buckets as you can get and as, as big as the water wheel as you can get. Um, and also you might want a silicone in there better than I did. On each one of these silicone so the water stays in there longer. The longer the water's in the bucket before it dumps out, the better rotation, more torque you're gonna get out of this wheel. So on the other side, we have a five foot reel. This outer piece right here is a five foot rim, just like this one. But it's five foot, have a smaller reel and it's bolted onto this rim. So when the wheel turns, this boy is actually using a five foot wheel for its torque. And definitely go with an inch and a half at least size shaft down there. We tried a one inch and it broke. So an inch and a half at least for that. Our pulleys are all one inch um, shaft. Um, this is an eight inch. So we're going from a 60 inch to an eight inch pulley, to a 12 inch pulley, to a three or a four inch pulley, to a 14 inch pulley, to a five inch here. And that gets us, you see how easy this is to turn from here. Right. Well, this gets us about 300 RPMs, um, but this wheel's barely turning at that. So if I add more buckets, maybe to create more water, you know, it's one thing. Oh, and also on this flume, you want the flume to be about half, or the water to land at about half. You know, so right above the spindle is where you want the water to land and start filling buckets up. And then it'll carry out and obviously dump down here. Um... I mean, it's, it's it's been a fun project, but I think I need to redo the buckets in the in the wheel itself to catch more water. And then, like on this one here, you can see this one's only got three buckets. That one's got three buckets. This one has three buckets. But I got this one here because it's a counterbalance because it was, the wheel was off a little bit. But I could add another bucket here. You know. So anyway, more buckets and bigger buckets, and uh, maybe pick out all those buckets and just redo them all. And silicone them in. Um, yeah, it's been a fun project. Um, now let's go turn the water on. Let you see what it actually looks like running. So our water, our, our pipe coming down up above, up there, up there in the on the hill. There's a road up there, and there's a culvert that's going underneath that road. And it's basically the bottom of that culvert is probably three feet higher than the top of the water wheel. So this pipe that comes down here is basically catching all that water. Oh, so what we did in the bottom of that culvert, we made a little dam out of a bag of concrete, and this pipe is in the in that plastic bag that was 
Um, there's a video on how we did that too. But we took a plastic bag, put the pipe through the plastic bag, and then put the concrete in the plastic bag and did dry pour. And so it would automatically just form around the bottom of the culvert, which worked really well. And then the plastic just is dissolved away. Or we ripped it off. We must have ripped it off out of there. Or it might be there, I don't remember. Uh, but anyway, that water will then just come down this pipe. The pipe does not have to be, does not have to be like a gradual slope down to the wheel. It can do this. As you can see, it's going all over the place. As long as this end of it is hot lower than that end, the water is forced to come through this. As you can see, that is a four inch pipe. Um, so all we do is we throw that pipe in that trough. Set you down right here for a minute. Obviously, we could have got just more pipe to reach out that far, but that's 100 foot of pipe and it comes 100 foot rolls. And we had that black plastic, so we built the trough and just used black plastic in there. And it works pretty good. And then our water just runs down that trough, starts spinning that wheel. Like I said, this wheel barely moves with this gear ratio. Oh, and the house is actually hooked up, I think. So there is a load on this right now. I have three-phase power. So this, this motor creates three-phase three AC, which we then pipe up to the house in this number eight gauge wire, which I have a conduit over there. I'm going to pull it in. But I just got like a 100-foot section up at the shop that I want to actually bury another pipe, or I could run it through the rafters of the shop, which is probably what I'm going to do. I got 500 foot roll of this. Anyway, so that wheel just spins. See how slow that's spinning? If, if I had more, if I had more buckets to catch more water, let me just jump up here and show you. I see it's filled up these buckets pretty good. But if I'm on the top one, is bigger that, that top one right here at the very right here, is blowing a lot of that water out. So that needs to be bigger and maybe lower. I mean, I don't know. Anyway, it, it does move, it does, but if I could get if I could get this wheel. Get back down off of this. I can get that wheel to spin at least twice as fast because right now that's you know if you count 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004, 1005, 1006, 1007, 1008, 1009, 1010, 11, 12. It's taking 12 seconds for that son of a bitch to go around. So if you can speed that up to six seconds, then we're getting about 12 rotations a minute, which pumps this up. Right now, with this thing barely moving, I got water dripping right on it. I have to put my little awning back over the top of this. Uh, but that thing barely moving, that's not even 300. That's probably shit. I don't, I don't know. I'd have to do the math. So, eight, uh, 12, 60 divided by 12 is five. So, you're getting five rotations a minute. That's too much, right? 12 seconds, 60. 12 goes into 60, yeah, five times. So five times our ratio is 35 to one. Every time that goes around one time, this is going around 35 times. So five times 35 is whatever this is spinning. Anyway, it's a fun project. I just need to rebuild the wheel, which is gonna be fun being that end is in the pond and this end's pretty tight. But, We'll do something with it. Thanks for watching, guys. Give us a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. We do all kinds of little fun things like this. We also have a solar panel system up on the house. And we have a whole playlist of putting that up. We did it all ourselves. Um, the new roof and then putting mountain panels up on the roof and uh, whatnot. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have a great day.